Welcome to another edition of Brew with the Crew. Gary, good to see you. Hey Matt, how are you? Yeah, good thanks, good. We're we talking about all things user experience today. Uh, this is a service in the managed services uh, space within Incentra that you conceptualized. Tell us about why you bought the service to market some years ago and how you've seen a change. Number of reasons, Matt. CIOs walking to the office on a Monday morning and being stormed that they, they currently have a P1 and you know, it could have been from, from patch management that happened over the weekend with uh, inadequate load testing. Uh, another reason is end user experience um, at, a, at an all time low when, when, when end users are calling their service desk and they say that my, my session is running really slow, but the service desk keep telling them that no, everything looks green on our side with typical infrastructure monitoring and what happens? The people stop complaining, right? And they just get used to it. So we thought at the time, that as much as infrastructure monitoring is critical to, to a platform nowadays, whether it's cloud or whether it's still hosted in a data center or on-prem, it's, it's, it's really important to understand how productive and how efficient users are with the systems that we give today. And that's where the, the, the user experience as a service came in. So are we coming in and installing a system and walking away? Or are we on the tools, working with the customer? How does the engagement work? So there's a number of flavors to our user experience as a service. Uh, it can be as simple as we provision onboard the service and we allow for the partner or the customer to manage it themselves. Mm -hmm. It can then go up a level where on a monthly basis we'll, we'll provision the service, we will then come in and we'll assist in any remediation that we provide from the analytics and the report that we present to the, the partner and then customer to the main proactive service where we are 24 by 7 proactively managing that environment with our user experience. Uh, service where we do everything that I discussed from the other two, but be a lot more proactive. So 24 by 7, we can react to incidents that we see from the different tools that we use and then go and analyze and ensure through SLAs that we improve productivity and end user experience. That sounds good. I've seen, I've seen one of the health check reports and they're very comprehensive. We do those quarterly for our customers and those highlight remediation items which our team then works with and alongside the partner and the customer to implement within the organization. So what I'm hearing is this, this continuous service improvement approach from our managed service. Correctly so. What, we, what we've often seen is that CIOs are always on the back foot. We go to them and say we need some new storage with high IOPS to, to make sure that the end user experience is at an all-time high and they haven't budgeted for that. So that's, that's one example. With the service, we were able to proactively sit down with a customer on a quarterly basis and be able to proactively let them know what's coming up. What should they be focusing on? What should they be budgeting for? And that, that makes it a lot more calm for them to, to, to be able to plan for the future. Helps them with good business decision making, I Correct. guess. Yeah, good. Um, I know there's a virtual user component to the service as well. Talk to us about that. Well, that, that's a really interesting question. So there's two parts with that. When we, do, when we do remediation, whether it's patch management or we, we make a change to environment because an application is not working or we need to fine tune a certain part of, of, of a solution, we only test with a couple of people, but this allows us to, to load test environments so we get enough people to be able to do a thorough load test. But then we also are able to synthetically send a virtual user to a instance, whether it's a VDI session, a Windows 10 session, or a remote desktop session, and we're able to test and simulate what a user would be doing automatically, not relying on a proper user to be able to do certain tests. So Incentra can create a virtual user of my business, um, and that user can test apps, open applications and desktops throughout the day and night, and generate alerts when things start slowing down. Correct. Well, that'll put me on the front foot straight away. It certainly does. And we work with the business to understand what their expectations are, What's their expectations on a launch time of a desktop? What's their expectations on producing a report at the end of the financial year? And we were able to then set KPIs and SLAs on their requirements. And then the virtual user will go and test those things and it will alert and notify us if there's any degradation so that we can proactively announce that and remediate accordingly. I can see how this can support CIOs, CTOs with their own individual KPIs on things like user experience and behavior. And it's more outcomes driven and user experience level agreements than your traditional service level agreements. Rightly so. So, so this, service is really, this service is really unique. Um, it's proved for a number of customers globally today that it's improving their user, user 
experience and we were able to, to show the, the improvement in productivity of the users. This comes in a number of flavors, like we said in the beginning. It comes as part of our platinum service for a, an, an overarching Citrix service. So really critical for business, certainly at the C level, they, they talk about a number of things and one of that is end user experience. So really valuable service for us offering our partners and the end customers today. Gary, thanks for the context and uh, good to catch up with you. Cheers. Cheers.